Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. If you are watching the replay, welcome. If there is no little live red square at the top, you are watching the replay. If you are live with me, good morning and welcome. I am going to do a little talking with coffee. And you're going to see that I am creating today on one of my um, faux barn wood boards. Okay, so it looks very much like um, a, sh a piece of old, um, worn barn wood, but we're going to do a little patriotic sign. This can be used um, basically all summer long. So starting with Memorial Day, so we are going to, um, hi Julia, good morning. We're gonna go ahead and get started with this. And of course, it's chalking with coffee, so grab your coffee or your tea or whatever it is that you prefer in the morning, your, your Diet Coke, whatever. And I'm using two different sets today. This is um, from our, um, it's called the US Map with accents and so you get the whole United States there is um, Alaska and Hawaii on here and then you get these cool accents that you can put on here so let's say you're documenting a trip and you're gonna put this on a board where you can hang photos you can do your little airplane with a line like wherever you traveled you can do the little pin drop um, to locate, you know, places on the map. You can do hearts or stars as well. There are small little guys, and then there are a little bit bigger. So today, um, I am just going to be using the star. And frankly, I probably will not be able to fit 50 stars, but I'm going to use the star so that you can see it. I have that tiny one too, and I just don't wanna, I don't wanna have to do too many stars. It also comes with these words. There are arrows, the chevrons, our favorite heart, my heart belongs, adventure happens, places here, sweet home. So you do like a home sweet home board. But I'm not using these today because I'm gonna partner this with a totally different, hi Michelle, hi Jennifer. Hi Tammy, I feel like my, my voice is a little wacky this morning, but it'll, it'll wake up soon, I'm sure. Okay, so we've got this going on, and then we're gonna partner with the other, this other transfer, which is absolutely adorable. This is called Stars and Stripes. Try to get it all in the picture. It has the um, Star Spangled Banner, and then there's this really large dotted line with stripes that you can that you cut apart, so you can put this anywhere to make like a border. This beautiful large star, three little stars, and then stripes over here. So you can come up with, oh, and it also uses, it has God Bless America, Oh, that's not the Star Spangled Banner. That's God Bless America, and I'm still waking up, apparently. I looked at the words and just immediately said <clears throat> um, that it was the <laughs> Star Spangled Banner. Okay, now that we have that straight, and I am a little more awake. Good morning, Diane. I'm going to set these aside for now because I'm going to do a cool technique on here and um, I want you guys to kind of be able to see the whole the whole thing so peel my kit transfer carefully because this is quite a large one and then I'm just gonna try to center it. I am um, 
Oh my goodness gracious. So it's a little bit trying, but I think I will get it soon. Let's see if then I can lift this up and straighten it. Um, this is looking fairly decent. Okay. Might want to lift this up a little. So the trick with this is that we really, really don't want any bubbles. There's so much screen print. There's so much screen, not screen print, but screen. And all these little border lines are going to be really important to have um, sticking, you know, push down. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, John. So we have that down. And um, I am actually not going to, I'm not, it's not like I'm taking Alaska and Hawaii out of the picture. It's just, um, I don't think I'm going to add them into this mix. I just wanted, I honestly could just go with like the shape of the, um, up here, this. So my, my goal is to do this in the image of the American flag and add in the stripes and then the red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little washi tape to this corner. Let me make it go up a little higher. So I think that is pretty good right there. And this corner then will be, ugh, not big enough. Okay. This corner will then be um, kind of saved for the blue, like on the star, on the, I mean, on the flag, it will be blue with the stripes. And then the rest of this, wait, okay. I seriously, good morning, Simone. Good morning, Catherine. I can't talk this morning. Oh, I don't know. I didn't even really stay up that late. This will be blue with stars. This will be red and white stripes. And because of the way this board is, like kind of, this is just washi tape. So washi tape is known around in the crafting world because it's a kind of tape that is almost like, almost like a sticky note, sticky. It is not, it's easily peeled up and you can stick it down. Um, they use it a lot with uh, paper crafting, scrapbooking and card making and um, you can use washi tape on paper and you can peel it up and remove it. It's kind of like a removable adhesive. Hi Jen. So I'm just using washi tape. I have a ton of it because I'm a paper crafter as well, all around crafty person. And it works really well on this because as soon as I put it down, um, it's easily peeled up like that. I mean, super easy. And it just gives me a nice barrier for my stripes. Now my stripes, help me please, I'm going to not tape them off. And I'll tell you why. This is a fairly large transfer to be using. Um, and I really don't want anything to dry out. So if I took the time to tape, and then I would have to like, untape it, I feel as though I would allow myself um, that opportunity to let it dry out. And I don't want that at all. So my goal is to do stripes as well as I can without tape. And 
because this is a distressed, weathered looking board, I'm going to do it in more of like an Americana, um, like the darker colors, like the dark. So I'm going to use brick. It is not your traditional bright red. And Amy, good morning. Are you still on the ship? Or have you docked and are you off? Hi, Richard. Welcome, welcome. Simone, you're, st oh, awesome. You're staining wood. So you got a lot done last night. Thank you, Susanna. I really don't think, yeah, I just, I don't want to take the time because um, I worry about the um, drying time. So we're going to go Americana. We've got brick and we've got custard for our white. So instead of the bright white and the bright red, we're doing custard and brick. And then we have our, um, our new navy. It's um, not that new, like it's been out for a little bit, but we have our new navy. And I don't even know that I've even ever opened and used my navy. This custard looks great. Um, everybody take a sip. Delish, gotta get that coffee in. So here's our navy. The two blues that you would look at would be azure, which is a little bit lighter of a blue, and then our navy. This navy is new, I'm gonna open it and stir it up. Um, when something, it, when you open up a brand new chalk, it looks, it could look totally funky. It could look dried out. It could look like this is super wet. And your trick is you just need to stir, stir, stir until it gets smooth and creamy. Like, um, like a sour cream or a, um, Greek yogurt, um, Kind of like when you open Greek yogurt, it's not very creamy, but when you stir it, it gets, it, it does. So, well, hi, buddy. Are you going to help me? Hello. Ryan came to help. Oh, wait, where's the camera? The camera's right there. So you don't need to get that close. But they can hear you, so you can say good morning to everybody. All right, okay. so we've got our blue, and then I'm just going to keep watching because that blue... It looks like Had a navy little. blue. That's weird. It is. It's called navy blue. It's All right. Really so okay. I'm going to do my blue first, and what I'm going to do is leave it thick because it won't. No, I'm not going to do. Yes, I'm going to do my blue. Ah, I don't know. If I do my blue first. I would do the stars first. Well, I'm not. Stars will be last after I peel this up. All right, I'm going to do my stripes first and then peel and then do my blue. Oh, that goes against what I was thinking I was going to do. All right, you know what? Never, never mind. I'm going to do my stripes first. But if I did my blue first, I could leave it thick, do my stripes, and then peel that off. But that means I want to move this. So I just because I want a slightly bigger, okay, there we go. Now my plan will work. I'm just moving this a little bit because I want, I wanted a bigger area of blue. All right, so I'm gonna do my blue first and I'm gonna leave it thick, which means it will take a, oh, Ryan. Find me a piece of paper towel. Go grab a piece of paper towel for me. Over there? Um, there might be, you might have to run upstairs and have Daddy get you some. I might be out down here. Okay, so this will work. Um, I'm gonna... It would just be on the... T um, look in this bag over here. So we're gonna look for paper towel. Oh, you think I should do the red and white? See, here's the thing with the red and white. I just don't want... Where? Right there. I just don't want my stripes to dry out, and my basement is super dry. So, if I do the blue first, and I leave it thicker, 
All right, I've got a plan. Ooh, that's a nice color. Um, like I said, I have not used this yet. Ryan helped me. You're so, welcome. Thank you so much, buddy. So he got me some paper towel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the wet paper towel trick as well. So I did leave that still a little thicker. And when I remove this, I'm gonna wet a piece of paper towel and um, I squeezed it out and I'm gonna just lay it on top of that so that I can do my red. And if this dries out, I have faith that I'll be able to figure out another way. So I'm gonna throw this away so I don't get blue chalk all over. And remember, I can't, um, I cannot um, dry this, right? Because it's all one transfer. All right, so now, and this may not be completely accurate to the flag of the United States because I'm just going fast here. I need another angled squeegee. So I'm just going to do All right, good. I'm just going to do the stripe and be like very rustic with it. So I'm not worrying. And yes, you would think I would do white before red, but that's not what's going to happen. And if I <laughs> If I totally screw this up, then I totally screw it up, but I am confident. In my ability to keep going with my stripes. I'm going to, and I can always go back and fill in any area that needs a little more love and attention. I truly am good with these stripes not being perfect, 100%, because I said this is a rustic, I want the rustic look. I got some blue on there. So when I do that, I just try to wipe it off, wipe it off of here, and go over it. Okay, so now I need to do a little red here. I'm just going to pull down and if it's a little smeary I'm okay with it all right now I need to wipe this off oh no we are not answering texts today not during this part so here I'm going to take this in here. Oh, da, 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 da. Here we go. Oh, well, see, and I'm just thinking of getting it done. And perhaps I should totally have alternated because you know. Um I felt like if I had if I um, alternated I could have um, like I sh if I wanted to alternate I should have taped off and that's why I was like eh, I don't think I have time to really tape off and if I use the same side of my squeegee I feel like the lines will be fairly similar in size 
So let's get this going again. Okay, set that aside. Where's, where's my other one? I'm almost done actually, because I'm just doing, ooh. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I'm having a hard time looking at the comments. So just FYI, I will look at those in like two shakes of a lamb's tail. When I'm done with all my stripes, I will 100% be doing, I will take off my, okay, buddy, what's going on? I think we're going to go golfing, I think. Right now? Yeah. Awesome. So okay. We'll, we'll get that done. All right. Have fun. Where are you going? You didn't run. Okay. Yeah, a group on for there. Okay. All right. So now I'm doing my last bit, and we're just going to cover it with white. Jen's bringing syrup. Oh, because you didn't buy it? Uh, no, I didn't realize it was as low as it was. Somebody must have dumped a lot in their pancakes yesterday. <clears throat> um, definitely not me. However, I thought it was on your list. Okay. Is, but I haven't been the same, so she's not. All right. So here we go. Now there is one area up here where I feel like it needs a little blue. I don't know if I can get away with that or not. And then a little area of white. Okay. Everything looks. Cross your fingers, people. This is. Hold on. You can totally fix dry. And remember, I told you rustic was my goal. And that's what I'm getting. So let me put this into the water. And there are a few spots, believe it or not, that I can fit. Like if I have little tiny bleed throughs, like I did, I can totally fix those after the fact. So like once this is dry, I'm really good at going back into. So this is an area where it mixed a little bit and I can go back um, very carefully and do, like I take, I can either do with a paintbrush or I can do like kind of my own thing. And I can go back and get that nice and covered so that you don't even know. And a lot of times, um, once this is dry, I can go back with a paintbrush, which um, actually, it's, it's not bad at all. I just have a few little spots that I wanna do. Okay, so I'm like looking at your comments, all about that. Yeah, red and white first. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, good morning, Teresa. Everybody take a sip. We made it through this part. Ooh, doggy. Now, I'm going to dry um, down here a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my words and my stars. So my words are going to go down, down here towards the bottom, and then my stars are going to go up here, and so I want to have this dried for sure. And, and this is gonna be totally rustic, and if I wanted, if I really wanted to add to that look, I could do a little light sanding over this. Just to make it even um, look a, just a little bit more worn. Once this is totally dried, 
Like I said, I did not tape off because I felt like I just wanted like those handmade line looks. And also I felt like the time that I would need to tape it off, I was worried about drying. So I didn't do any of that. And we could do light sanding to kind of um, make it look even a little different, like a little bit. I don't know, see if I can do that. I just, man. And very light because, you know, this is not as sturdy as wood is. You know what I'm saying? But just to blur your lines a little. I'm staying away from that part that I added. Just to blur those lines. <laughs> That's a little bit. That was the part that I went over. So I'm not gonna get real close to that. So cool. Now, I am gonna add my stars to this. So I have my little star thing and then I'm gonna do my God Bless America. So this is um, a large transfer for a tiny little star, but you'll see that we do need it to be like this. I'm going to hold it like this and I'm get my, I'm going to get a very small, um, squeegee. So it's very small and I'll be able to just kind of like dip and go. I'm not even pushing the whole thing down just around the star so that I can do the star and then peel it and go. Do another one. And you can usually do like five or six of these before you have to clean off that screen area. I keep getting too much. Oh, it just moved, but that's okay. It's totally okay. So I can do, I just wonder if I can do a few more. And I'm going over the line, so it's totally just, we're just doing I stars. Have improved. Whoa. I have improved. Do you like it, Ryan? Yeah. Thanks. All right, so I'm just moving. You I'm just laying it down, picking up. Done. Well, I'm, nope, I'm going to add some words to it. Okay. Why? It's Memorial Day Hooray. It is not going to say Memorial Day Hooray, but it very well could. Um, it's just going to say, God bless America. My country, tis of thee. My country, tis of thee. Sweet land of liberty. Of thee I sing. I forgot how it goes. Um, Ryan. He's going to sing for us. These are not all perfect, great rows, but it's okay. Totally rustic. And um, I may... Look at... Remember I said you could do five or six? Apparently, this little technique I'm using, you can do more than five or six. I'm not going to get 50, but I'll have quite a few. Okay, so I think, well, maybe one more, and then we'll be done with this. Hi, Melissa. Good morning, Amanda. Hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. We got a little patriotic chalking going on. Okay, so if you noticed, I don't know if you're noticing this, but as I put the white over the navy, it's starting to kind of like pull some of that navy color up and so my stars are slightly light blue. 
I think that you can like that I will I will leave it this way because that's just the way that it's gonna be and I wanted it to look rustic but you can go over with a second coat or put it on much thicker than what it already is so once it dries you could do a second coat of white over top of your stars what is going on here I don't know so we're gonna do our words then in the Navy in the Navy yes we're gonna do our words in the Navy and um, it's gonna it's gonna kind of go across the bottom here and let me do it this way I want to just kind of measure I like to use the um, I like to use the transfer I mean the end of the not the transfer okay so that would be three inches this is not three inches so if we move it that way a little bit to get it a little more centered and that's two and a half and that is not quite two and a half so er, squeeze it over here a little and then once it's done um, all right that looks fairly centered hey Jessica Am I frozen or can you guys see me? I'm gonna leave this planted. Hold on, I'm gonna do something. Okay, I'm gonna leave that planted and I'm gonna stick this down. This is the God bless. Whoa. Okay, there we go. There's our God bless. And I think it looks fairly straight. Even if it wasn't, I'm not gonna cry because, well, because it's such a rustic looking, you know, a rustic board that I don't need. I don't need to be super picky about as, like if I was making like a real pristine with clean lines and um, you know that kind of a board or like some of the wedding boards that I've done lately that's a little different and I would redo and redo and redo until I had it right but this is meant to be old looking and isn't that font awesome it's already like a chalky font so it um, it is not a solid font Am I totally, why is my broadcast interrupted? Was it me, is it me or you? Oh my gosh. I'm looking, I hope that's not real. I'm gonna check on my phone, make sure that I'm here. That's really, let's see. Okay. Hopefully I'm still going. I don't know, I can't, I kinda can't tell because um, my iPad is being silly. Like maybe if I go out of it and go back in, I'll be able to see. But I'm finishing up and even if it's a mess, it's at least recorded. So if you're commenting and I can't see, I'm sorry. Now my, my screen is way, way, way behind. Okay, so I'm looking. Oh, I should probably. I just um, messed up my measurement when I got all worried because it should go over slightly and I should dry these S's. Hi Cheryl, welcome. I'm sure once I do this, you guys are gonna do um, 
you guys are going to try your own, do your own, and it'll look absolutely fabulous because you probably will tape off, and I did not, but um, everybody makes their own, and some of you are like, I don't even know how she could have done this without taping off, like, why would you ever attempt something so crazy? Well, I told you guys my reasons, so... <laughs> So you should know because, number one, this is um, an Americana rustic um, weathered looking piece. And I wanted that very old handmade look to it. And there is the drying factor that I was worried it would take too long. So awesome. This looks so good, you guys. Okay. So let me, good morning, Suzanne. Let me wash off my little transfer here. Um, dry my hands. And I will, oh, it's frozen again. I don't know. I'm so sad. Why does it keep freezing? All right, so here it is. I'm going to get on there and figure out, everybody take a sip of your coffee. Mm-hmm. Such a great little um, project that we did here, and you saw me do it. I want to see your version. Um, I all of these things are in stock in my store right now. Brick custard and navy. We have stars and stripes, and we have the um, U.S. map and accents. So. Um, good luck. Let me know if you need any help. Post questions and comments below and make sure you share this video. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend.